This painting, titled Suzanne Hochaday's Sewing, was created in 1888 by American artist John Leslie Breck. Breck was born in 1860, grew up near Boston, and trained in Germany, Belgium, and France. In 1887, he and seven of his colleagues visited the village of Giverny, which lies approximately 40 miles northwest of Paris, and was where the French Impressionist painter Claude Monet had settled in 1883. Breck was instrumental in helping to establish Giverny as a thriving artistic colony during his extended stay there between the spring of 1887 and the fall of 1889. Soon, artists from all over were coming to the village to paint its flowering fields and hillsides, the verdant banks of the nearby Ept and Seine rivers, and its iconic grain stacks. During his first year in Giverny, Breck transitioned to the Impressionist style of painting, using loose, sketchy brushwork and bright colors, which are evident here in the Mint Museum's vibrant canvas. Breck became close friends with Monet's three stepdaughters, the Hochaday sisters, when he and his colleagues, Henry Fitch Taylor and William Blair Bruce, stayed in Giverny during the winter of 1887 to 88. The group enjoyed ice skating, dancing, and talking about art together. Breck was also one of the few American artists to enjoy a friendship with Monet, who he looked to as a mentor. He was granted the privilege of painting in Monet's treasured garden, as well as at his side along the Ept River. Suzanne Hochaday's sewing was painted in the summer of 1888, not long after Breck had converted to Impressionism. Here, Suzanne sits in dappled sunlight under a leafy tree in front of a field of golden hay. Brecht's skill at capturing the play of light and shadow is on full display. A canvas by Monet, completed at the same time, features his stepdaughter Blanche at work on her easel, and in the distance, Suzanne, who peers over Brecht's shoulder as he, too, works on a painting. While Brecht certainly absorbed a great deal from Monet in terms of his artistic style, preferred subject matter, an approach to painting, their relationship ultimately cooled by the time Breck had left Giverny in 1889. This was likely in part because Monet discouraged his stepdaughters from considering Breck and his colleagues as long-term partners and reliable sources of financial support. Suzanne, however, eventually married Breck's colleague Theodore Butler in 1892. The museum was fortunate to acquire Suzanne Hochaday sewing through the generosity of the Mint Museum Auxiliary in 2016. It is one of fewer than a dozen paintings by Breck to be held in a public collection, as the rest are in collections of foundations, private entities, or remain with the artist's descendants. Its acquisition inspired us to organize the exhibition John Leslie Breck, American Impressionist, which will open in September 2021. It is the first full retrospective of the artist's work since his death in 1899, and will be accompanied by the first book on Breck ever published. And that's why we're looking at the painting today next to me on an A-frame rather than up on the wall. We've just pulled it to get ready for the show.